This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, this is a little more gameplay on the Vision Arcus. And yes, this is a content creator program. He is only temporarily given to me. He will be removed soon. But here's a little bit more gameplay. I went into Realm of Legends and I took him up against Winter, uh, not Winter Soldier, but uh, Wolverine. Now, the thing about the Wolverine fight is that Wolverine regenerates like crazy. And unless you have a good counter, you're not going to pass this fight. This fight has broken many a contest champion summoner. All right. Now, what makes Arcus good for this fight? Honestly, it's not his abilities. He doesn't have any anti healing abilities or anything like that. It's actually my masteries. In particular, the Despair Mastery. Look that one up, but every debuff that you place on your opponent will reduce their healing. I have Despair maxed out. So the Vision Arcus, if you watched my first look video, puts armor breaks on his opponents. As you saw there, he had 10 armor breaks on Wolverine. That is the key to controlling Wolverine's healing. Now, I'm still playing around. This is like my first time fighting this Wolverine with, you know, the Vision Arcus here. So I made some mistakes. Uh, one of the things you don't want to do, you don't want to let those armor breaks fall off, which means you need to be very aggressive. You need to stay in his face, which is my normal way of fighting. But I don't like long fights for a reason. I lose focus. And you'll see this later on in the fight. I do allow those armor breaks to fall off. And you'll see what happens. You know, it's not disastrous, but it could have been. So I'm going to fire off special ones because they do not touch the armor breaks. And I'll fire off special threes. And you'll notice that Arcus is building up those... Uh, power game buffs and he's already maxed out he's got five of them and you can see how his power game uh, looks very very nice he's a lot of fun to play all right so you see there I actually allowed the armor breaks to fall off and you see he's starting to heal up now and I saw that and I'm like oh man now I have to you know stay in his face and build up those uh, armor breaks again Just look at that he almost got up to full now you don't want to fire off the special two in this case because the special two converts all of the armor breaks into an armor shatter that lasts a long time that is bad in this case because it's the number of debuffs that's going to help you control wolverine's uh regeneration all right so what would happen is if you fired off the special two, it converts them all, you've got a nice long armor shatter, and he will heal all the way back up to full because now you only have one armor shatter. So not great to do in this particular case, but I did want to show how useful the Vision Arcus can be even in a situation like this, simply because of all the... Uh, armor break debuffs uh, that he can place on his opponent now he is a lot of fun to uh, fight with but since I run suicides he is not very suicide friendly because you kind of want to spam your specials in most cases uh, in this case the special one to kind of speed things up a little bit which is why you see me starting to spam the special one and the special three, you don't take any recoil damage, so you can spam the three all day long, but you know, you have to sit through that animation, which looks nice. It actually made me laugh the first time I saw it. But 
On the other hand, if you're trying to end a fight pretty quickly, you know, that could be a problem. And if you're running suicides, chances are you like fights to end sooner rather than later. All right, so that's pretty much what this fight is like. Keeping up those 10 armor breaks, spamming the special one and the special three. And I know I made a couple more mistakes later on and then I had to uh, be a little bit more careful couldn't spam my specials and I had to just rely on the special three and you'll see I have to stay in his face because I do not want those armor breaks to fall off that's why you see me there I'll evade but I'm gonna stay in his face I'm not gonna spend a lot of time baiting out because the further and longer you are away from your opponent the you know more of those armor break debuffs are going to fall off all right, so that's it. Hope you enjoy the rest of this fight. Uh, it's not that much longer, as you can see. Uh, thank you all for watching. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Oh, and remember that this is still subject to change. So they could change this champion uh, before they release him. They could also change him after they release him within three months. They made an announcement about that. So three months out, they may look at him and say, okay, these are performing a little too much. Yeah, there I go, I messed up. Um, they're performing uh, a bit more than we intended, so we need to trim it down, okay? So just bear that in mind. What you're seeing here is still a beta. Yeah, see, I'm getting tired at this point, and I just want this fight over with. All right? But in any case, uh, he is a lot of fun. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with him. Uh, I would not mind him, although I probably wouldn't end up using him a lot because of the Suicide Masteries. All right? So take care, everyone, and you all have a blessed day.